What's going on people, it's KC from www.kc-sands.com Here today to do a video on how I route my different channels to their own auxiliary bus and <clears throat> my reason for doing this as well um, <clears throat> Yeah, so what I do is and what a lot of other mixers do is send all their individual instruments to their own bus so if you look down here it says kicks drums bass piano slash roads synths strings main vox chorus vox ad vox uh, th these are my parallel buses so if I'm gonna do some parallel compression I've got these buses ready to set up to go um, and I've got all DMB, all music, all Vox, pre-fader and output. So I'm just going to explain to you why I have it set up like this and yeah, just to explain the routing. So first of all, I've got the kick, well I've got my, my drums, normally it's just a kick which goes to bus 8. So from bus 8, which is that bus here, goes to bus 23 which is my all DMB which is all drum and bass so all th all three of those buses will be routed to bus 23 so that I can um, process the drum the kick and the drum together and then drums and bass bus goes to bus 26 which is my pre fader channel my pre fader bus sorry and then from my pre-fader bus it goes to the main output but my pre-fader acts like a main output I don't really put nothing on this main output and I leave it at 0 dB um, so if I was to just if I click on output and it disappears it wouldn't really matter because there's nothing I don't really use that anyway this is this one here the pre-fader that's acting like the main output so everything's getting rooted to that last channel. Like I was, like I was saying, I've got the kicks here. This should be called kicks. And then I'll have all my drums. Like I'll have snare. I'll have snare and then I'll have that clap and I'll have high hats and then over, uh, open hats and then I'll have like shaker and then toms. And all them percussion type drums will be rooted to bus 9 which is here and then on that bus I can I can use all different type of plugins to manipulate and process all these percussion drums you with me hope you're still with me if not just rewind it so moving on I don't know why I've got that there that's a, looks like a second pair of drums I've got there that doesn't really matter it's just the same same as that same thing and I always color my drums red for some reason. So moving on, I've got more hi hats because this is my my template, my uh, rap production template. I'm gonna do another video about that as well, like setting up your templates and and why you should set up templates and the usefulness of setting up your own templates. But anyway, then I've got my 808s, got my uh, bass type um, instruments which normally go to bus 10 another one that's on 12 so yeah so that's rooted to bus 10 and then out of bus 10 goes to bus 3 which is all drum and all drums and bass like I said earlier so that I can process them all as one so from the basses I've got instruments so I've got a couple of synths some pianos and pads and they're all rooted to their own buses as well so they'll go to the synths bus and if I'm using strings I'll, I'll route all the strings to bus 13 and then route it out to bus 24 which is all music so I've got three main three main buses so I've got like the kicks the drum and the bass they all go into one one bus then I've got the music 
which is the piano, Rhodes, synth, strings, which goes to the all music spice. And then whatever vocals I'm using will all be rooted to the, their own individual bus. So the main vocal will have its own bus, which will be bus 14. And then we have a chorus bus, and then we have ads, so like ad libs and stuff like that will go to its own bus. And all them vocal buses will get rooted to an all vox bus. I've got um, I've got some reverb buses and delay buses that I have set up as well. And really and truly, they should be going to their own their own bus. I should make another bus really and call that all effects bus. But I haven't done that. I've just rooted it straight to my pre fader. It doesn't matter. One of the useful things about having buses is, say if I'm bouncing stems, I can. I can click solo on all on the on the drums and then bounce that. So if I want to send that off to a mastering engineer or something like that, that all I need to do is just so, hit solo on that, bounce it down, real time, wave, hit OK, name it, done. If I want to do all music. I can do that as well. If I want to do all Vox, I can do that. If I want to just do the individuals, like all the all the kicks or all the drums, percussion, all the bass. So it just gives you that option of um, bouncing your different elements in stems rather than having like 20 different instrument bounce, uh, instrument files bounced down. But it all depends on how you work and how you want to send your files out to be mastered or mixed. One useful thing about having your buses, uh, your effects on, on their own bus is, for example, if I wanted to use a reverb on my main vocal here, which is bus one, is it? Yeah, bus one. I just have to send some of my vocal to bus one. Let me show you an example that you can hear because it's, it's better if I do it that way. So, for example, I've got so I've got my kick drum going to bus eight. And if I wanted to send a bit of reverb to that, so I want to send some, re I want to send some of my signal to this reverb, reverb here. I'll go into and then I wanted to send that snare. to give that snare some different reverb or I could I can do it on these individual ones here as well it doesn't really matter depends on how you want to work it sometimes you can do it on the individual channels sometimes you can do it on your bus channels it all depends on what you want to do but don't forget, your bus channels are going to have more than one instrument on there. So if you want the whole of, of all them instruments to have that same reverb, then you do it that way. But if you, for example, wanted to put more reverb on this snare than you did on this clap, then you would send a bit more to that snare and send a bit less to that clap, which will... We'll make it, which will make it appear like it's got a bit of depth. 
bit front to back. Um, oh, what's the other thing? Main. So you, you 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 with me? If not, just drop a comment on some, on what you're not too sure about, and I'll I'll try and explain it a bit better because it is kind of complicated. It took me a while to get my head around it. Um, or it might just be really easy for you. It might be double easy. We we just get it straight away. But um, you don't have to you don't have to work like this. This is this is just how I work, and I've kind of got different ways of. Um, approaching this from people like Dave Pensado like shout out Dave Pensado um, and other is it Michael Michael Bro or something hope I got his name right but um, yeah like I know they use these kind of methods for, for mixing and stuff and I know there's like other top mixers out there that use these kind of methods um, on my on my pre-fader here I, I called it the DG crazy um, fader because I got the the idea from a guy called David Glenn like shout out David Glenn as well because he's like a proper top mixer and nice guy as well like proper helps you out and stuff so I've took a few um, ideas from him and had a and put a few plugins on my pre fader so I can process it and get it sounding the way that I want the, the mix to sound so I think I've I think I pretty much covered everything. I hope I have. I think I have. Um, I can't think of anything else. So yeah, I think that is it in a nutshell of how I route my different channels to their different buses and the reason why I do that. Um, <clears throat> if there's something I've left out or you're not too sure about, just let me know. In a comment or in a message or something like that, and I'll, I'll um, I'll let you, I'll tell you what I've done or what I haven't done and why I, why I do things a certain way. Or if there's something that you want to ask me as well, just just ask. I'm here to help in it. Um, I've got other videos on my channel, and there's loads more coming as well. Like I said before, I'm doing quite a bit of mixing, and it's yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's, it's always practice. You can never stop learning. I'm always learning. No one, I, I'm trying to be that, say, oh, I'm just like, I know everything that ain't possible. So, yeah, thanks for watching my video. If you've got time to watch and check out my other ones, go and do that. Appreciate it. If you liked what you saw today or want to keep in touch and keep it uh, up, up to date with what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.